This is Inland SoCal Today, where we take a look at what's going on around the region and online. And we've got some stories for you to follow today that you might find interesting. And the first one is the Press Enterprise is reporting that the Riverside Humane Society has received a large number of purebred puppies, mostly pugs and chihuahuas. The society is trying to find homes for the 29 dogs. And the society officials say it is the second time in six months that they have received dogs from breeders uh, that have, they've not been able to sell. And so the society is responsible for getting them out for adoption. Now you can also take a look at the society's shelter here on Inland SoCal on our pet section as well. So check it out. Of course, this is a very busy weekend for events, including the Coachella Festival. But here in Riverside, sports will take center stage when the AVP Tour makes its first stop in the Inland Empire. The volleyball tournament begins today and runs through Sunday. In addition to the pros, there will be a collegiate tournament with teams from UC Riverside, USC, San Diego, Nebraska, Texas, Hawaii, Utah, and North Carolina. And we mentioned Coachella. Well, the Desert Sun has a story about giddy hotel operators getting set for the music festival, which ma many are describing as recession-proof. No doubt about it. Uh, this has been a very good spring for the Coachella Valley and its hotels. If you live in Riverside County, you will not find this the least bit surprising, but Riverside County has the third highest foreclosure rate in the state of California, just behind Merced and San Joaquin counties. San Bruno checks in at number four. The Victorville Daily Press has a gruesome story about a man who was killed after he was ejected from a car he was driving and he landed on the roof of a vacant house. San Bernardino County Sheriff's Deputy said they have never seen anything like it before. The newspaper has video and photos on its website. The San Bernardino Sun lists some of the Starbucks that will close in the region. Ten will close in San Bernardino County alone. And of course, every newspaper in the region covered teabagging across the region. Now that's not something you can find at Starbucks, but uh, check it out nonetheless. That's it. That's the day. We're out of here. We'll see you again tomorrow with another Inland SoCal Today. I'm Lewis Anastor.